Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a brand new gaming video. Now, a lot of people have been playing the brand new release of Oblivion Remastered. It's fantastic. It's a great remaster of the original game. But of course, people like me want to play it in VR. And that is what we're doing here. As you can see, I'm playing the game in VR here. Now we're playing this a little bit of a different way today and this is only going to be a very short video. I just wanted to show you something that can add something very cool to your experience. Now first of all you might notice some of these wobbly bits here like I've got the bow in my hand, there's a spare hand over here so the profile isn't perfect. I mean I've even got my other arm down there. It's a work in progress but you know don't worry about little things like that. All I would say is enjoy the game and I'm aiming today to give you something that will improve your enjoyment of the game. Now first of all I'm playing on the PSVR2 headset and this looks absolutely great, this does in the headset. It really does look absolutely great. So I am going to show you a way to make combat a little bit cooler. Now, the basic things which I've shown you in a recent set of videos, so I can hold the right trigger, I can aim an arrow wherever I want to, I, mean, I don't really need the bow if I don't want to, I'll just hold the right trigger and I can just fire it at the floor and if it lets me, potentially pick it back up again. But what we'd like to do is add something exciting to the magic. Now, I've not actually touched on the magic and I've not touched on the sword and shield. I think I'll show you something with the sword and shield when we finally get to be able to use hands properly and that kind of thing. So when these hands are all fixed, I'll show all that then. But for now, we're gonna show you some of the magic. So before we start a conversation with this chap and initiate a battle, we're going to show you a mod called Voice Attack. Now I will put a link in the description for Voice Attack and you'll need to download it now, I've already downloaded it, and let me just slightly take the headset off, and we're going to show you what we do with that. So, if I just pop these controllers just down very quickly, and if I just pull up Magic, and then we'll pull up Voice Attack. Now, this is assuming that you've downloaded it, you've done the voice test. It's very straightforward to install. When it does install, you should come to a page similar to this. Now, I've inserted a custom profile, but I've also made some additions to it, and I'm going to show you how you do that. Now, first of all, this is all bound just to the item slots, numbers 1 to 8. So, if we just minimise this, and we'll show the shortcuts. So, these are the shortcuts I'm referring to. So, if I just pull up voice attack again, and... Let's go into, oh, let's go into the profile. Right, this is the profile that we've done. And I've added on some of the other things. So let's just match this to what we've got here. So now it's all bound to these eight keys here. So obviously you can see number one, two, three, four, etc. and eight, same as here. So at number eight, we've got clairvoyance, but that's, that's not there. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to very quickly, let's delete command number eight. And then we're going to create it again. So basically, when you've got a profile, all you need to do to make commands is just make a new one. Now, the way I've done it, I've copied what's in the profile here. So if I go into new command and we'll type in clairvoyance. And then we'll type as a key press. And we want this as number 8. So press the key number 8. And then OK. And then what we also need to do is add a key press. And I'm not sure the rationale behind this, but I've copied it anyway. Press the letter C. That's OK. And then we'll press OK. So we've now got that set up. Right, so just to show you that that works, what I need to do now is for number 8 here, is I need to put clairvoyance so if I just put clairvoyance as number eight and then we'll tab out of game back to the game there and I'll just say in the microphone clairvoyance so that basically shows you that it works so let's go back 
into the magic menu. And we'll pull these spells. And we're also going to pull voice attack up. Because I need to amend all of this here. So as you can see, clairvoyance isn't at number 8. So I've got here, I think it was Inferno. No, it was Flare. That's it. So I'll put Flare there. So let's just show you all of these here. Right, so I'm going to need to edit some of these. So clairvoyance is actually at number 5. So if I edit that and press number 5. And that's done. And we've got Cold Touch, which is at number three. So again, edit that. Edit that. Press number three. That's okay. And then we've got Dragon Skin is number two. So we need to edit that. Edit that. And put that as number two. And that's done. Flare. We've just seen we need to edit that. And put that as number eight. And that's done as well. Healing is number one. that's that done and life detection is number six and that's that one done and then shocking touch oh. shocking touch is number six so let's Edit that one, put that as number six. And then that's done. Oh. And then lastly we've got skeleton at number five and it's actually number seven. So that shows you how easy it is to edit things and obviously of course how to create them now I'm not sure the rationale behind me pressing the C key but well it works now and what we want to do now is or what I'm going to do next I'm going to show you a little bit of this in combat now it is only going to be a short video just a little bit of a taster of what voice attack does now what you need to do is clearly say the spoken commands here on the left side where it's a spoken command you literally just say these words and it should cast these spells. I mean, I believe you could even put it for other actions, like maybe even mounting your horse, potentially, as well. But we're just going to keep things basic for now. So let me just minimise that down. And we'll come out of that. So, you want to become one of the children? I told you to come alone! For your Brothers, own dragon skin! Kill them! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Skeleton Stick together. Shocking touch. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. There we go. Flare. So as you can see, that kind of thing. It's a bit panicky in combat. It's probably a good a good idea to remember all of your keybinds and everything like that, but it's it's pretty cool. It really is. Life detection. Healing. Skeleton. Cold touch. Shocking touch. Etc. So you get the idea. So you can mess around with all these spells. Flare! Flare! And I think it usually goes where you aim at. So if I say, Flare! 
as you can see, it aims where the target is. Well, at least where the target's pointing in my headset. Anyway, that's just a little bit of an example of the kind of immersion you can add to your Oblivion Remastered experience in UEVR. So, I'm just going to end the video just there. I would like to say thank you very much for sticking with me towards the end, if you were that brave. I would also like to say thank you very much for your support, so please do like and the video and subscribe to the channel. And obviously, of course, do that if you want to see more VR-related content. Otherwise, if you want to make any comments about this or you need any help or any tips, please post in the description below. I will respond to every single comment. Otherwise, we'll see you soon for another video. Ta-da for now!